Welcome back to my channel. I'm Annette, the creative genius behind a vintage splendor, and this is your favorite destination for vintage and thrifting. I'm so excited to be in Long Beach today. Long Beach is one of my favorite places to go thrifting. I kid you not, every time I come here, I leave with a trunk full of the best vintage and thrifted finds. Today, I'm starting at the Assistance League. This place is a gold mine, so hot tip, if you love like the best of 70s, 80s, and 90s fashion, like Escada, St. John, Assistance League is where you need to shop because this is where all the fine ladies donate their best St. John. This is Thrifted St. John, and you can find so many gems at the Assistance League, plus the ladies who volunteer here hype you up when you're trying on like some really great thrifted finds. So I always start in the designer section because this is where I found really cool like Donna Karen silk pans, found Escada, found this beautiful like linen trench that all of you fell in love with. So let's see what we find. I found this Christy and Jill blouse and the accessories already built in. It's doing the work for you. I love it. Okay. Ooh, I love a good sequin and beaded piece. I mean, guys, just imagine something like this vintage t shirt, ripped up Levi's, some sneakers, and you are ready for Trader Joe's. That's what I always like to say. I love this because there's like a really subtle floral print and then there's all the glass beading and sequins so it just makes it extra fun. This is going in the yes pile. You know I love Levi's. I feel like I could maybe rework these into some shorts. I'm gonna definitely try these on. I have to say, I love a good 90s mom jacket because you know what? You can wear it as a top with a cute bralette. So we're not going with anchor woman giant hair. We're going with a cute bralette, wearing this with some jeans, and you are going to be the hottest mom at Carline. You guys, Givenchy Sport. I feel like this is like a classic black, I think it's a cashmere blend. And see the little Givenchy, look at that tag. Did I not tell you? You find the best 70s through 90s designer pieces at the Assistance League. So in case if you don't know, Assistance Leagues, the prices are a little bit higher than the standard thrift store because the money goes back into the community, but the caliber of women who donate here, top notch. sleep on the suit department because as we know suits are having such a moment right now and i love a good 90s power suit but instead of like being working girl nine to five we're gonna pair it with some sneakers crop top and i just love that like slouchy feel of 90s suits and i'm always looking for blazers so even if a set comes as a suit and you're like i'm not feeling the pants or the skirt try on the blazer and i'm gonna try this one on because i feel like this is gonna be like that perfect style where you just throw it on this is jones new york 90s goodness my mom used to wear this brand all the time just check out this blazer it's a beautiful long line long line blazers are the best because they work with everything jeans you could wear it with a dress if you're not looking to wear like a jacket or a coat and you just want an easy layering piece and look at the pinstripes on this this is so good so you know i love blazers i probably have 30 blazers but that's still not enough because i wear them all the time so what do you think should i buy this or should i leave it Ooh, i found a london fog trench and i have to tell you i love london fog so much more then Burberry and the prices are like a quarter of what you would spend on Burberry. Just look at this fit. This is a men's trench, but I'm loving this. I saw cowboy boots 
I like to joke that I have T-Rex eyes. I can look everywhere all at once. Look at how good these are. And I don't have black cowboy boots. So these have to be my size because if they're not, I'll be very upset, but I'm gonna try these on and I think they'll look cute with this outfit. Pro tip, always check the brand. Obviously cowboy boots should be made in America, but these are Lucchese, which is one of the premier western boot brands i have two of their boots neither one are black these are actually my size so these are coming home with me okay what is this look at this brand college junior okay i don't know if the skirt will fit me but i have to try on this top look at these blue buttons oh, they're so pretty look at this this one similar style skirt even comes with a belt oh okay were you an 80s kid if you didn't have a sailor outfit? I feel like this is just the adult version of what I had as a kid. Like somebody decided to offload their like ultimate vintage closet. I feel like when you hit the right day, it just is a score. Don't ever sleep on the lingerie and pajama department. All of my best slips, my pajama pants were all from the PJ department. And you want to look for silk even though some soft satin will work but this is silk and just imagine ladies of the 50s who would like sleep in the most like luxurious silk with their hair done up and makeup but thankfully we don't have to do that anymore but i feel like something like this would be a really fun like upcycling project where you could like tie-dye it just to make it a little bit more cool check out robe great topper piece OMG, what is this? This reminds me of like Betsy Johnson goodness, but even better. Oh, look at this tool. Look at this lace. Okay, we have to try this on. I have to try it on. I just hit the Diane Freeze jackpot. Look at these two dresses. If you're not familiar, Diane Freeze produced amazing dresses in the 70s and 80s and all of her dresses are very limited run she was like pretty sustainable back then because she would find a really cool material and she'd be like i want to make a dress and she could only make like a handful of dresses so when you find a diane grease buy it because no one else is going to have the same dress i know i love good jacket and a cardigan look at this awesome sailor inspired jacket cool little anchor detail on the button. I've never seen this brand Saint Germain, but whoever liked this brand bought a couple of pieces because this one is a little more Southwest inspired and this one's silk. Look how pretty that is. I mean, they just don't make clothes like they used to. And even the label, I love looking at vintage labels. Like I said, when you hit the right day, you will get access to someone's amazing wardrobe. All of these are Givenchy sport pants. So somebody loved Givenchy sport in this specific style and she bought every color. She's like me, but in the past. Even more Givenchy sport. Not into pants. I've got some sweaters for you. Look at this. How cute are these? These are like perfect little like tea alternatives and how much are these i mean it's a little bit pricey 46 but it's like very very luxe i would be like okay i could wear one of these tucked in not my levi's let me think of something different these are really really cute and what a steal if you're especially if you're in the like resale business this is the day that you would really really love your finds i mean there's like literally so many different sets here there's a long sleeve version, there's a short sleeve version. Love this! This is a little big on me, but it's still so cute. So I would say Diane Freese is one of those designers you should know if you love bohemian clothing. I would say she's like, one of the OG designers of Bohemian Lux. I am thinking I may see if I could get this and turn it into a two piece actually and do a skirt and then do a crop top separate. Even though it's a little big, 
Nothing a little tailoring can't fix. This is the other Diane Freeze, another amazing dress. It's just too big and something about her is if you love flowy dresses that cinch right at the waist, her pieces you're gonna love. They're all silk and some of them have like velvet and lace detailing. I would say if these were cheaper, I think they're like $70. I would definitely consider buying and reworking into a two-piece for myself. But I have to say her dresses usually go for like two to three hundred dollars on other sites. So this is still a good deal, even though it's pricey for a thrift store. I am ready for the prom. You guys, this is so adorable usually vintage prom dresses are so teeny tiny i guess gals were just like so skinny back then this one actually there's like room in the bust for me so i can get it altered to fit me perfectly i just think this is the perfect spring little dress who's getting married invite me and i'm gonna wear this cute little number i'm just going for it i want you to just imagine this with like a crop top i mean even with this sexy bra super cute and i would definitely wear this with some like more casual jeans but i like it with the black and these leopard heels and then i do a t-shirt but i love this print i love the subtle print i love that it's slightly large on me and i may just add a couple of snaps here just so i could wear it like with one button right here and just keep it very, very sexy. This set surprisingly fit me. I didn't think it would fit. It's very snug, but it's so cute. I almost wish that the skirt was actually longer shorts, like almost like a play suit. And then you could tuck this in and it would be like great little two piece outfit for the summer. I do love the bright blue buttons. So cute. This is sold as a set. It's not very forgiving. It's like just so fitted right here and working on that mom bod right now. So I don't think I'm going to get this because I don't think I'll wear it as a skirt set. Too bad. I'm going to add this. My wish list is to get like a two piece set like this, but with shorts. Are you ready to see the boots? Oh, these are so good. With like the gold stitching on them. So I have two Lucchese boots. I have the ones that come up to my knees that are the dark cherry. And then the ones that are white are very similar in style. So now the question is, do I need black? I think I do. so many goodies. Thanks for coming thrifting with me. See you later.